Hello and welcome to Knit All the Yarn podcast. My name is Lisa and I live in Michigan with my husband and my two girls. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry at 72 Stitches. And this is episode 13. And today is Monday, December 31st. Happy New Year! <laughs> All right, coffee. It's a sad, sad day, guys. Last two times I went to the grocery store. They did not have any pumpkin spice creamer. I think it's done. They usually have it in January. Oh well. So, I'm trying uh, peppermint mocha. It's pretty good. Not as good as pumpkin spice, but what are you going to do, I guess? And if you probably haven't heard already, my kids are home, my husband's home, and my oldest daughter is getting over cold, so she's coughing. So you're going to hear that in the background. Sorry. All right, let's see. <clears throat> um, all the links to the patterns and yarn will be down there. And what else? Um, hello to all the new viewers, and welcome back to the returning viewers. Um, let's see, I have FOs and whips, and later on I'll talk about Macau, which starts tomorrow. Alright, so let's get started with whips. Alright, we'll do these ones first. Socks! And I have a light on over there, but it's really cloudy. It's going to rain all day today, so the lighting's not going to be very great today. Seems like it always rains when I want to podcast. So, these are the Cozy Knitter and the Gingerbread House. Yeah, Gingerbread House colorway. Oh, I love these. Um, I do 64 stitches. I think I forgot to say how many stitches I did in my last socks. It's always 64 stitches. I do 2x2 two two rib for 12 rows. I do my cuff down and I do afterthought heel. Yep. This is it. Alright. Finish object number two. More socks. Yep. Same thing. 64 stitches. Cuff down. Two by two rib for 12 rows, afterthought heel. I do my magic loop, two at a time. Oh, yarn, you probably wanna know what yarn this is. <laughs> this is a homespun house. And this is her Christmas at Hogwarts club from 2017. This is my first pair of homespun house socks. And I love them. And I will be buying more. I have to take these off the blocker because I finished three pairs of socks. I wasn't going to finish these, but I'm like, I want to finish these before the end of the year. And all I had to do was put heels in, so I just decided to pop the heels in yesterday so that they're ready. Do do do. All right. Socks again. I can't stop knitting socks. I thought by like two, when did I start? 2017 I started knitting socks and I haven't stopped since. So same thing, 64 stitches, cuff down, afterthought heel. This is Nomadic Yarns, Santa's Little Helper. Kind of bummed that I couldn't wear these before Christmas, but they'll be ready for next year. And my, I decided to do um, different, my heels and toes are the same pattern. I knit one, 
slip slip knit knit all the way across till I get three stitches left and then I knit two together and knit one. I do that on both sides of the needles because I do magic loop and I just love how that turns out. It's so much better. So I'm gonna be doing that from now on and for the heels I do four rows before I start my decreases. So that's that. Three pairs of socks. Alright, let's get a drink and we'll go on to whips. Alright, Stitching Plaza bag. Sorry, you can't get these anymore. And I am sad too. <clears throat> Alright. This yarn has a naughty word in it. If I can find the tag, there it is. So, if you have little kids, divert their eyes. I'm not gonna say it, I'll just, I'll say a different version of it. <laughs> so, Nomadic Yarns. And the Jolliest Bunch of A-Holes. Oh, I just, I saw the title and I had to get this. <laughs> Cause this is from, uh, Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which is my favorite Christmas movie. And this is her trusty sock base, 75.25. Yep, so I know it's Christmas is over, but I'm still using my Christmas bags. Probably until I finish these socks. Then I will put them away until next year. But here it is. It's not very Christmassy. So I can do them in January, right? I'm gonna do what I want. So Chow Goose 2.25 millimeter. I didn't say that yet. That's what I use for all my socks. Cuff down. Yep. So this was my Christmas <laughs> Christmas. Christmas. This was my Christmas Eve cast on. So I haven't gotten that very far. I haven't gotten very far yet, but I was working on my other socks. I wanted to finish those up. So, yep, this is what we got. Oh, and last time I was talking about, I was waiting for my Shaogu needles. Bought them on Amazon. The package got lost. <laughs> I wanted to use, I wanted to buy them from Amazon because they had a gift card. So I got my money back, package is not here, and I just bought them from somebody else. <laughs> so mad. But they're here now, so it's all good. All right. Where's the tag? Here it is. Hmm, do you, do you sense a theme here? Nomadic yarns. <laughs> I haven't knit any her yarn in a long time and then all of a sudden that's all I want to knit and this is sugar plums technically this is one of her holiday colorways but uh, I'm still knitting it 75 25 base I've had this in my stash for probably a year so I decided I need to and I just started it all I got done is the cuffs tangled So yeah, all I got is cuffs, 64 stitches, 2x2 two two rib for 12 rows. I'm going to get the yarn ball out because I don't have all the, I think it was four color repeat. Yep, four color repeat. Once I got the dark purple left. So there's dark purple, like this magenta, this tan, and then a dark brown. And probably haven't mentioned this before, but I, since I do my two at a time, I um, wind up the skein, and then I get a scale, and I weigh the cake of yarn, and then I divide that by two, as close as I can get, and then I wind up from the center, I wind up another ball, I cut it, and then I wind up a next ball. And when I do that, I make sure that 
whatever color I start with is what I start with with my second ball. So that's how I get my stripes to match. I figured this. Yeah, the scale was a game changer. I don't know why I waited so long to get a scale. Silly. So get a scale. They're very cheap. I think I got mine on Amazon for maybe $15, 20 Worth it. All right, so that is all my whips. Oh wait, nope, I lied. I got one more. I'm gonna talk about my blanket real quick. My kale, and then I have some knitting stats. I'm only gonna briefly show my blanket, but I put in all 25 squares for my advent that I made myself. So here it is. Ooh, and I, I have been weaving my ends as I, as I go. I just like to do it when I'm at this point and then I weave them in. So yep, here it is. And I wanna thank the people that contacted me to do um, mini swaps. So now I have, I haven't, I had, I haven't uh, received any packages yet, but I think there's some be coming today. I don't know. So I have more. I will have more speckled and tonal variegated yarn in my blanket soon. And I'm not touching this until I finish that. Oh my goodness! I have two, two and a half rows. We'll say about maybe 60 squares left. I want to finish that so bad. That is why I'm doing my blanket cal. So I'll talk about that right now. So it starts tomorrow, January 1st through um, March 31st. And it'll be in my Ravelry group, which there'll be a link down there. Um, rules will be in there. I would like it to be scrappy blanket. Any pattern, any yarn weight doesn't matter to me. Whips count. You do not have to finish your blanket. If you do, bonus points for you. <laughs> um, prizes will be, I'll just have a chatter thread and prizes will be drawn from that. So, yep. So yes, I'm doing that cal, so it will motivate me to finish this, that. Yes, must finish that blanket. And then when that's finished, I'll go back to this. And I'm using, I'm using Zing's 16 inch, it's a US2, 2.75 millimeter. Zing's, yep. So that's what I'm using for that. I like 16 inch. I like circulars. I don't drop the needle that way. All right, so join the um, cow. Oh, and I have a hashtag. So use this hashtag Scrappy Blanket Cal 2019. I'll have that in the group too. All right, so that is all my yarny stuff. Now we will talk about yarn stats. So I have this little notebook, cheapo notebook, and I've got some washi tape. And this is how I keep track of all my knitted items. I don't do Ravelry pages, I just can't keep track of that. So I just write like the pattern, or in this case it sucks, um, yarn, and the needles I use. And that's all I really do. If I have any um, like changes in the pattern, I usually write it in the pattern so yep so this is how I keep track of um, my knitting stuff and then at the end of the year I count it all up I love sticky notes all right so here we go guys drum roll socks 46 now Five of those are for my mom, if that matters. 
dishcloths, 102. I have, um, the reason I have 102 dishcloths is because um, the yarn hoarder did a uh, dishcloth challenge to get rid of your cotton yarn stash, and I jumped on that. So that is why I have 102. <laughs> I have no more dishcloth yarn. Yay. And, whoops, I can't read on that. And, uh, so I will be giving those as gifts, too. So I don't, I think I already gave most of them away, so. Maybe not most of them. I don't know. Anyway, hats, 30. 24 of those went to the homeless project that I was doing. And I will be continuing with that because I have worsted weight yarn I want to get out of my stash. Sweaters, 5. I knit two baby sweaters for practice. And then I knit two for my kids and one for me. And they were all the flax sweater. Cowl, I did 8. And then Cozy Memory Squares, for that big blanket right there, I did 85. That's pretty good, because I only really started working that in October. So I think I can finish my blanket. And then my uh, sock weight one was 25 squares. So that is all that I knit. Wow. Can't believe I knit 102 dishcloths. So now that I'm not doing dishcloths, I wonder if that means I'll do more socks or more hats. I would like to um, knit 12 hats each month for the homeless project, but we'll see how that goes. Maybe more, maybe less. All right, life stuff. Um, Christmas was good, kids got sick, go figure. Just a cold, cold and cough, nothing serious. Um, let's see. Oh, goals. Probably should talk about goals for a little bit. Um, I only really have, I don't like to do resolutions or anything that, like that, but I do have some goals. Um, I like to read 100 books. I read a lot. Probably 90% of those are audiobooks, so I can knit and listen to books at the same time. <laughs> you might count that as cheating, but I do not. And for knitting, I would like to do cables. Yes, I need to learn to do cables. So 2017 was knit socks. 2018 was sweaters. So 2019 is cables. Yes, I need to figure that out. All right, so I guess I will end that there. I don't have anything else. Um, kids are good. Pretty boring around here, which is good. Kids got one more week, and then they go back to school. So I just have to get through this week. <laughs> Um, join the Cal. The link to the Ravelry group will be down there. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, yeah. I guess that's it. I will hopefully see you in two weeks. Bye.